Welcome back to Ms. Grand Indonesia's Up Close and Personal Session. This new edition, we would like to welcome Sophia Rogan. Hi, thank you for Hi, having Sophia. me. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Thank By the you. way, congratulations. Thank you so much. You have been appointed as a new Miss Grand Indonesia 20 and 21. I know, it's so surreal. And you will represent for Miss Grand International 2021. Yes. Are you ready for that, Sophia? Hopefully, I will be, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, you're so beautiful. Thank you. And uh, you were chosen to represent the country at international stage. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about this announcement? Um, above all, I'm like super, super grateful. Like I can't even fathom how grateful I am. But also, of course, like the nerves are totally kicking in because I've never been a part of pageantry before. Um, and especially because I didn't have to compete on a national level in order to gain the Miss Grand Indonesia title. So, yeah, I'm kind of just being thrown into this international pageant. But nevertheless, I'm still super excited and I'm really looking forward to it. So you started uh, modeling, right? And now you are in a beauty pageant. Yeah, that's true. I started modeling um, maybe when I was like 15. Um, but it was only until this year that I thought about even doing pageantry. And I'm just so grateful um, to Yayasan Dunia Mega Bintang and of course my national director, Ka Ivan Gunawan, for blessing me with this once in a lifetime opportunity and experience. It's just, it still hasn't really hit me yet, you know, it's just so, so surreal. Um, but yeah, I'm just so thankful. So many people want to know about yourself. Can you tell us a little about yourself? Okay, so um, I was born in England um, because my dad is English um, and my mom, she's Indonesian. So I grew up after that. I lived abroad my whole life. Um, I moved to lots of different places, which maybe I'll get into later. I love music. I'm a very musical person, a very creative person. Well, and and I also learned that you like diving and I know Bali and eastern part of Indonesia are the best to discover deep sea scenery. And what are your habits do you have outside of work and why do you enjoy them? So I do love diving. I actually completed my paddy open water course wow. already. Yeah. Um, and I've dived a few places in Bali. I've dived in Tulamben, which is the east of Bali. Um, I think it's near Sidemen, um, but yeah, it's beautiful there. There's, it's called the USAT Liberty Shipwreck, so I dive there. But other than that, um, as I said, I'm a very musical person, so I play guitar, of course, and I sing, um, and I like to write my own music, and yeah, I just like to express myself through art. I really enjoy different um, artistic outlets, so yeah. And most people didn't know the fact that you are a musician. Yeah. So can you sing a few lines from your favorite song? Quiet when I'm coming home And I'm on my own Oh, I could lie and say I like it like that I like it like that Wow, I love your voice. Thank you. <laughs> and um, actually, I want to ask you what time of what type of music are you into and how does listening to music affect you? Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you asked that question because yeah, music is just my whole world. Um, my favorite type of music is definitely going to have to be like classic rock. Um, and that's definitely with influence from my dad because he also plays the guitar. And from a young age, he was always bringing me to concerts, different rock um, bands, heavy metal bands, which is so ironic because now I'm a beauty queen. Um, but yeah, I love classic rock. Um, other than that, I still listen to like rap and like pop music, but my all time favorite, I can always go back to it is rock. I see it runs in the family. Yeah. <laughs> Is your dad do play the music, uh, do uh, play some instrument? Yeah, he plays guitar. 
Um, I don't even remember what age, but he started teaching it to me when I was pretty young. And I just picked it up over time. I was never like too serious about it, but um, yeah. And then within these past like two years, especially with the lockdown and stuff, I just really, um, really started playing guitar more seriously. It's nice. Were you close with your family growing up? Yeah, we were so close um, because living abroad, it's like you're always moving, you know, and you always have to say bye to people. As much as it's like great opportunities, great experiences, you know, to meet loads of different people, um, it always sucks to say bye to everyone that you meet. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, family is always there. So we're all like in the same boat with each other. So we could always relate to each other with that. Okay, so how is your relationship with your parents? Who do you like most, <laughs> like spending time and why? Um, I like spending time with both of my parents equally. Um, my dad, as I said, like we're, we're very similar in the way we think, I think. Um, with music, you know, we bond a lot over that and we also like to talk about politics and different things like that together. Whereas my mom, we're very girly together, I think, and we usually, I mean, not usually, we always go shopping and we always go to the salon and so yeah. Okay, what was it like growing up as the oldest child, right? Yeah, um, it doesn't eldest, feel, yeah. yeah, it doesn't feel like I'm always the, the eldest because my sister and I have a six year age gap so I don't really remember like how it was to be by myself, you know? It just always felt like I had my sister there. Um, but yeah, it was, I love having my sister because especially now within these past couple of years, she's 13 now. So we've definitely grown very close. Um, yeah, it's, it's really lovely. And uh, Sof uh, Sophie, is that your nickname? Can we call you Sophie? <laughs> yeah, well, my actual name is Sophie, but I've changed it to Sophia. But most of my friends call me um, Soph. What's your dream and goal about Miss Grand International 2021? Oh my gosh. Um, with Miss Grand, my main goal, of course, is to just enjoy, you know? Um, Aura Charisma has already given me a lot of advice and she has said to me so many times like the main thing is is that you enjoy yourself um, but of course other than that I really would love to bring back the crown for Indonesia because I know how much it means to Indonesian people. Okay um, now is your time so I would love you to you know talk to your supporters to the all the queen lovers in <laughs> Indonesia. Uh, can you say a few words to everybody? Yeah, sure. Um, hi! <laughs> it's really surreal to have so many supporters. It feels like it just happened overnight, you know? Um, but it's so amazing and I'm just so thankful. I like, I wish I could hug every single one of you, you know? Um, but yeah, I really hope that you guys can continue to support me and help me through this because uh, the main reason I will do this is for you. So thank you so much. Okay, Sophie, we're gonna play some games, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Diet or exercise? Diet. Swimwear or evening gown? Evening gown. Hmm. <laughs> yes or no, are you in love right now? No. Oh, <laughs> fame or fortune? Fortune. Music or movie? Music, for sure. Right. <laughs> Heels or flats? Flats. <laughs> Ubud or Seminyak? Ubud. Oh, you like Ubud. Yeah, okay. I like the rainforest. Okay, we go to island questions. Ocean Ooh. or nature? Nature. Sunset or sunshine? Sunset. Diving or surfing? Diving, but I wish surfing. I wish I could <laughs> surf. The most romantic thing someone has done for you? A giant bouquet of roses. Wow. <laughs> really gigantic, yeah? Yeah. So one thing you can do better than a man? 
be confident. <laughs> Food you can eat every day. Food I could eat every day. Nasi goreng. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> greatest fear? My greatest fear, I don't like spiders. Me too. I really don't like spiders. Last song you sang? Um, a Billie Eilish song. Yeah. One thing you're not good at? One thing I'm not good at is dancing. <laughs> Describe yourself in three words. Mm, passionate, compassionate, and empathetic. Okay, that rhymes. <laughs> and then your favorite part of your body. My favorite part of my body is my height. Okay, I, I love your mole actually. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Now, Sophie, complete the sentence. I love myself because I am a woman. Thank you so much, Sophie, for your time, and I'll see you in the next session. Yes, thank you so much for asking the questions. I had so much fun. <laughs> I am Sophia Rogan, Miss Grand Indonesia 2021. Thank you.